they're slowing things down because I feel like things were moving way too fast for you. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your August reading. I am Princess D. If you do, if you're family, welcome back, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Software update. I don't know what's going on with my laptop. Mercury is direct and I'm going to need my laptop to just act right. But anywho, don't y'all be manifesting bonus readings. You understand me? Aquarius. But anywho. So we're going to be looking at you and your person of interest. And we are going to start with the energy between the two of you from the retired ass romance angels. Back for the 9 9 and the 2000. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to go into you guys' individual cards. Oh, I forgot to throw the dice of resonance for tools as bonus, but it'll be okay. <laughs> but we're going to go into your individual cards, and then in the extended, we're going to be looking at how your person thinks and feels about you and what's not or whatever. And we have two cards that came out. The first card, that, oh, sweet mother, keep an open mind and codependency. That's interesting. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, meaning that your soulmate may not be codependent. I'm just kidding. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, honestly, Aquarius, the first thing that I feel with this is that you guys may be conditioned or used to being in partnerships that are codependent, like past tense. You know what I mean? And the thing that one would need to keep their open mind about is an interdependent partnership, meaning two independent individuals that are in a relationship with each other, meaning it's two people who don't need each other to survive. You know what I mean? It's two people who have their two own separate lives, separate careers, separate friend groups, separate interests, but they're still together, right? So in essence, a healthy partnership. Now, this is something that I see more often than not. Codependent and toxic relationships are a lot more prevalent than they should be, but it's just the times that we live in of instant gratification and things of the sort. So when people see a healthy relationship, it ends up becoming something very unfamiliar, right? And a lot of times it can provoke insecurity. It can provoke anxiety because it's something you've never experienced before. Because if it's a person, if you're used to being in relationships where... You isolate yourself from friends, like say you get into a relationship with someone or if you know someone like this, where they get into relationships and they isolate themselves from friend groups or every single waking minute is spent with their partner. Everything they do, they do with their partner and they don't really have a life outside of that. If you've had a lot of relationships like that, then if you have a person who kind of has their own thing going on, it can kind of put up red flags when those aren't really red flags. Because, you know, it's like, you know, are they cheating? And it's like, no, that's just what a person who's independent is like. You know what I mean? It's like you come together when you come together, but it's two people that have very separate lives. So I feel like this is a transition that you guys are going through and something that you would want to keep an open mind about. Because it seems to me that there's a new person that's coming into you guys' lives or someone that you guys are seeing now where they're maneuvering different than you're used to. But Spirit is using this as an opportunity to highlight those codependent tendencies that you have, right? And for some of you, it may even be as strong as a relationship addiction that you've had past tense or your person, right? So first card we have out for Aquarius <laughs> is the Knight of Swords, which is interesting. So trying to move quick, fast, in a hurry, you know what I mean? Or you guys feeling the urge to communicate with a person quick, fast, in a hurry. Let me get some more cards on this. If my cards will cooperate. This could also be a message coming in from your person of interest as well. Ooh, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like things aren't moving as fast as you would like. It's the thought of, and this is like a very almost specific scenario. Things are not moving as quick as you like or as quick as you are used to, but that's normal. Like, that's a good thing. It's kind of like maybe being used to meeting a person, you guys connecting and stuff moving fairly quickly, and this isn't happening. And that's kind of making you wonder and then we have the three of swords in reverse and then we have the two of cups 
so that's the thing I'm saying. It's almost as if you're fearing this being a situation where, um, well, no, I'm not even gonna lie about that. It's not necessarily fearing. It's more or less y'all are still healing over a past situation. It's a whole lot of projection that's going on. This is why I find these new connections that are coming together so fascinating for me. Because these are, are partnerships that are starting with a lot of projection. It's a lot of the things that I have watched all of my subscribers go through for like the last year. I've watched these relationships be at their height. <laughs> and we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. I've watched these relationships be at their height. I've watched them fizzle out. I've watched people be single. I've watched new people come in. And now I'm watching the old person be projected onto the new person. So there's an emotional connection here, but they're still healing from a past situation. And because this isn't necessarily moving at the speed that you would like, and of course this could be vice versa, to where you guys could feel that your person of interest is moving way too quick and you feel that you're not ready for this level of commitment. But I feel like there's like a cutoff point here. I don't know if you're going to go as far as blocking the person. You know what I mean? Or them going as far as like blocking you, but it's like, it's either you or the person that's feeling some type of way about the speed. So it's either Aquarius is trying to force things too quickly, or you feel on the receiving end of someone who's trying to force things too quickly and you're not ready. Like you like the person, you have a connection with them, but you feel almost like they're trying to force you into a partnership. You know what I mean? And it's like a fear of this potentially being a codependent connection like something that you guys have come out of past tense but it's a lot of like murky projection kind of energy to where i don't really feel like okay good we have the world card i was about to say this feels like to me it isn't what it looks like so for aquarius it can go this can go one or two ways like i said this can either be you guys who are trying to rush too quickly into a partnership because you guys have a history of codependent relationships and you may not know it to be called that. But if every single relationship you've been in has moved very quick, those are toxic codependent connections because real relationships do not move quickly. That's very, that's not healthy. Healthy people do not get into relationships quickly. You know what I'm saying? Because a person who's emotionally well has too much to lose and you're not going to invest into a person that you don't know because I don't know you and you're putting my wellness in jeopardy, right? Or it could be on the flip side where Aquarius is on the receiving end of this, where it's a person who's trying to push you into a connection too quickly or is trying to talk you into a situation too quickly and you guys are rejecting the offer because even though you like the person, it's like you guys are still recovering over something that disappointed you in the past and there is a potential that you guys are either going to take a step back or block this person, but there's still a new beginning here. Like it's a, it's a win, you know what I mean? And I don't want to put that on Aquarius like that, but it's like I kind of feel similar energy to how I kind of felt with Taurus, where it's like it's wanting to rush stuff. It's like trying to rush. How can I put it? It's fear based and insecurity, and it's trying to rush a partnership, not because you need the person right not because you really necessarily want to be in a partnership but because it's going to make you feel more emotional security just to say like this is my person and we're in a commitment because it's like a fear of losing the person so it's wanting to put a title on it wanting to put a name on it wanting to define what this is right in order to have a sense of control in the situation. And that, of course, regardless of whose side it's on, that's the wrong reason to get into a partnership and it's hella selfish. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, is to deal where that insecurity comes from. Person of interest, the first card they have is temperance. So it's wanting to come to a balance. And then also with the world card, there could have been, I wonder if this is a long distance relationship. Because this kind of feels like, to me, it feels like a triggering event, right? So it's almost like there's a need to keep an open mind. 
And this is kind of like a slightly different scenario that I'm getting when this whole travel thing comes up or long distance. There's a need to keep an open mind because codependent issues a person has are being triggered because it's like a conversation that's supposed to be had that's related to an offer and somehow that didn't work out. Like either someone was supposed to move or there was supposed to be like some type of vacation or trip or something like that and that was delayed somehow. And it's like, because that was delayed or canceled or the person isn't moving or something just didn't work out with movement, that's now triggering these codependent issues. But it's like, the thing I'm seeing is with the world card, it's a delay, but it's not denied. Like when I see the eight of wands reverse in the world card, that's what that means to me. It's like, it's delayed, but it's not denied. But it's almost like I say, spirit taking advantage of this delay to point out like these are codependent issues that need to be dealt with, right? Because it could be that Aquarius, and I mean, if it doesn't apply to you, apply it to your person of interest, but I don't want to keep going back and forth because I'm going to confuse my damn self. So I'm just going to say it how I'm seeing it. So apply wherever it needs to. The thing that I'm seeing is the person of interest with the temperance card, it's looking like they're trying to pace the relationship and it looks like Aquarius, and if this doesn't apply, just apply to the other person. Don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> but um, it's almost as if they're trying to pace this relationship because the connection is good, but it's almost like the Aquarius person or whoever resonates over here is trying to move things too quickly but you're trying to move things too quickly for the wrong reasons because it's insecurity that's trying to put a title in, put a hold or anchor or try to put the situation in a box. And it's really not time for that yet, but it's like forcing it out of these fears that are codependent based. So this is a catalyst situation where this person pumped the brakes. And spirit is trying to bring this out in you as opposed to you fixating on the person and what it is that they're doing right or wrong. Y'all could also be dealing with a Sagittarius person, just throwing that out there. But anywho, with the person of interest is wanting to find or trying to cultivate balance in the partnership so that this doesn't end up codependent. So that's another thing that could be being misinterpreted here. It's the fact of like looking at this like the person is, I don't know, up to some sneaky cheating type of stuff but it's like they're actually trying to build a healthy relationship you feel what i'm saying by taking things slower and things being more balanced whoa and we have the knight of wands reverse yeah they pumping the brakes <laughs> it's like the person of interest they're slowing things down because i feel like things were moving way too fast for y'all y'all were going way too quick we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's not putting energy and efforts. It's not working on it. But them not working on it, I'm seeing this Eight of Pentacles in reverse with this Eight of Wands in reverse. It's not that they don't want it. We have the Three of Cups. It's not that they don't want it. It's just that I feel like stuff was moving way too freaking quickly. It's almost like people who, like, you met and... If y'all would not have pumped the brakes, y'all to fool around and ended up like married next week. You know what I'm saying? And I think this creeped this person out like, whoa, all right, let's slow down. And it's because this person saying, whoa, let's slow down. That's healthy because it's saying, wow, we're moving too fast. We really don't know each other. We're just operating on passion here. But I feel on the other side, the person is misinterpreting it like, oh, I don't want them. And you guys may be going to an extent where you're like, I want to block them. You know what I'm saying? But that's the reason why keep an open mind is here because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Your expectation may be codependency. And like I said, apply where you feel it, it needs to be. But your expectation may look very much like a codependent enmeshment. And this person is trying to, to build something that's more stable, something that's more in, interdependent, something that's more balanced. And there's a need to change one's perspective so you can see what a healthy connection looks like. Because I'm telling you, 
healthy relationships do not start off quick, fast, and hurry because you don't know the goddamn person. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person pumped the brakes so that you guys can have this Three of Cups, which is like a true, like, something that can lead to something that's actually fulfilling, where you really know who you're dealing with. You really know each other. You know what each other wants. Y'all know your goals, if your future is aligned, and things of the sort. You know what I mean? People gonna leave me alone today, yeah. Whoa, sweet mother of God. I'm gonna take both of those. So we have the Empress. And we have the two of wands. So it's plans to move forward for something that's fruitful, something that's abundant. I like your person. I like that they have two threes right next to each other because that's a miraculous number when you see three and three and things of the sort. But it's making sure that you guys are moving forward in a healthy, positive, balanced way, right? Making sure that this is strategically planned. Making sure you both know what it is that you're getting into. And I would say that this person, if they have dealt with codependent relationships in the past, I feel you guys person or you, whoever resonates where, has learned their lesson. So the thing that Aquarius or whoever resonates wherever would need to keep an open mind about is the fact that, yes, this does look different than what you're used to, but it's for a good reason, right? This is how healthy partnerships are built over time taking time to really get to know the person not just by following emotional whims and things of the sort you know what i'm saying but anyway we are going to go into how your person thinks and feels about you in the extended and pull some initial cards and zodiac cards and all this other kind of stuff to get insight onto who it is that we're talking about whether you guys have met this person or not but i'm gonna throw the dice resonance if you want to ask a yes or no question do that now if not i don't know what to tell you so formulate your question <laughs> I don't know who never not asked a yes or no question. We have co-worker boss. Let me find out y'all messing with y'all boss. We have Pisces, Aries. We have yes in a few months and sun. Aries, Pisces, yes in a few months, co-worker boss and sun. And the dice that have no name. Whoa. Is that Pluto? Gemini and the number four which is a foundational number. Yes. Let's see. No, it's Mercury. Okay. Mind and communication. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You are a messenger. What have you been communicating? I don't know, Aquarius. What have you been communicating? Sounds like they talk about your divine purpose a little bit. Number four. Your major arcana to meditate on is the emperor. We have structure and order, master builder and stability. And that is the theme that I feel for this reading. I feel you guys are going to have the opportunity to get into a very healthy interdependent relationship, right? But right now, the main focus is to not take personal that this person is pumping the brakes they're not doing any sneaky, cheating, lying. There is no third-party situation. There's nothing like that going on. It's just this person is trying to co-create a healthy partnership with you because this person has clearly learned from past mistakes and knows that for things to be balanced, two people need to get to know each other over time, not get married next week. You know what I'm saying? But I love your freaking face. If you want to follow me over to Vimeo, the link is below. But other than that, I still love your face, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,